At least two or the three criminal charges former U.S. President Donald Trump has been indicted for are federal cases, which means no television cameras are to be allowed in the courtroom and record and broadcast the proceedings. But in the interest of transparency and public clamor, Democrat lawmakers are spearheading the charge to alter tradition and permit video cameras to document and air the proceedings live, as VOA's Veronica Balderas Iglesias reports. A televised trial of former U.S. President Donald Trump would likely draw massive interest. But since cameras are forbidden in federal courtrooms, only a few sketches now tell the story of his recent appearances in Washington and Miami. Changing the rules against televising proceedings would be a complex process. The president's actions. But several Democratic lawmakers and even Trump's lawyer, John John Lauro argue that cameras in court will improve transparency. In contrast, some, including the Wall Street Journal's editorial board, worry the presence of cameras could negatively impact trial proceedings. Former federal prosecutor Mark McDougall agrees. I think it's really a question of the effect it has on the participants in the trial, the judges, the, the judge, the lawyers, the witnesses, and so forth. Others argue that in America's highly polarized politics, where even basic facts are up for debate, a camera feed could be critical for accountability, says political analyst Colvin Dark. If there are no cameras in the courtroom, what the judges are then contributing to is the possibility of misinformation or somebody who's in the courtroom misrepresenting or taking out of context what actually happened. Trump will be a presidential candidate when he goes on trial. Political scientist Dean Lacey says it's hard to predict how the televised proceedings will affect his popularity. He could rally his supporters and get a lot of free airtime in the middle of a primary. It could also be a big negative. He could end up incriminating himself. He could end up losing a reputation among independents, maybe among some of his core supporters. Nearly all U.S. states allow cameras in their courtrooms. High-profile cases such as the trial of O.J. Simpson on murder charges or the murder conviction of Officer Derek Chauvin in the death of George Floyd were broadcast live. A new indictment of Donald Trump on election-related charges is expected later this week in Georgia, where cameras are permitted in courtrooms at the judge's discretion. Veronica Valderas Iglesias, VOA News, Washington.